Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning. I am still sick. Um, Christopher is now not feeling well. So whatever I have, <coughs> he now has it. We're getting it. So we're trying to catch it. <sighs> it ain't easy. But anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Hope you all are doing swell. It is Monday, May 20th, I think, 2024. Uh, let's see, what is today? Oh, shoot. Yeah, May 20th. So I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, this phone looks really dark. Um... I had a good weekend. Um, I'm tired still. One side of my face is just throbbing. I don't know what that's all about. She said it's not a sinus infection. She said it's a virus, an upper respiratory infection. But <clears throat> it feels like it's something more than that. The sneezing is hard. Horrible. And this side of my face hurt because I think of this tooth that I gotta go and um go to the dentist about. This tooth that I told y'all I cracked. That just got too much going on. The housewarming party, then my trip in July. I just got too much going on. So I, I, I'm somewhere in between there. I'm going to um, go and see about this tooth and see what I can do. Um, so yeah, so I'm not 100%, but I'm trying to get there. I'm trying. And it is a struggle. Um, my weekend was kind of blah. It, it, well, my weekend was very frustrating. But before I go into telling you all about what happened over my week, over the weekend, <coughs> let me first say good morning again. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. I hope you all are doing well. I know I said that already, but I want to say it again. Um... I hope last week was a good week for you. And I hope that you are safe. Because I know it's a lot of you guys that live in Texas. And it's so many been so many uh, really um, ferocious storms. So I hope you all are doing okay for those of you all that live in Texas or anywhere where um, there's been uh, really bad weather. So I hope you all are doing okay. I hope everybody is all right. Secondly, I want to say happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday on today or is celebrating um, a new promotion, a new job, a birth, an anniversary, graduation, prom, all of that good stuff. Congratulations to you and happy birthday to those of you that are celebrating a birthday. So now having said all of that, um, I think I told you guys or mentioned to you guys that I <clears throat> went and bought a washer and dryer last Saturday. So I went to buy the washer and dryer. Now, let me just say this. Um, when I bought the house, there was not a washer and dryer in place. So I was not sure what it was that they had. So my delivery time was from two to six. So I, that meant I was stuck in the house all day. So they called me about 2.30, close to three. It's a little bit after three. And said they were 10 minutes away. So <coughs> the guy comes in, two, it was three of them from the warehouse. So the first guy that came in who went down in the basement, he said, oh, 
we gonna we got a problem. So I'm like, okay, what's the problem? So they were Hispanic and they spoke Spanish, but they also they spoke English, but their accents was very heavy. So it was kind of hard to understand them. So I was trying to be really patient. I was, you know, still not feeling good. I was hot. I was sweating. And I was irritated. So I said, well, what's the problem? He said, we can't hook it up because, you know, um, you need some type of uh, adapter, something to lift it up coming from the vent. He was like, and then the way your laundry, cause, because mind you, my laundry room is small. I mean, tiny. And so he said, I'm just wondering, what did they have in here before? He said, do you know? And I said, no, I don't. And I said, when I bought the house, there was nothing here. He said, well, um, <coughs> he said, well, this is going to be really tight. He said, because, you know, we had a wash and dry. He was like, but... I don't know how this is going to fit or whatever. So anyway, he went on to say that I needed this certain type of adapter. I need an additional water hose and blah, 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 blah. So I said, are you kidding me? He was like, no. He was like, we're not going to be able to hook it up. I said, well, I'll be down. So... I said, so are you all, what, what, no, the, you all have to wash and dry on the truck, so what am I supposed to do? He's like, well, if you go and get this and that and the third, then we're going to leave the wash and dry here, and then we will come back, and we will hook it up, but you got to let the people at Lowe's know. So these three brainiacs and my dumb self, did not think to tell him to just leave it in the basement, right? So I said, well, how long are y'all talking about? It's going to take y'all to, you know, do what it is that you need to do. And he was like, he was like, um, they was acting like they didn't know. So some kind of way, I don't remember how, but they said they were gonna leave it, they would leave it in my garage. So <coughs> <coughs> that's what they did. <coughs> so they left the <coughs> <coughs> they left the wash in the dryer in the garage. In the box, you know, all sealed up or whatever. So they came around to the back to the alley put it in, in the, um, the garage. So, I called my friend up, and I said, my friend, who the handyman, who I, you know, I told y'all about him. And so, I'm telling him what happened, what's going on. So, he was like, send me a piece, because I can't remember what your laundry room look like. Take a picture. The bad thing with him is that he and I, I have an iPhone, he has an Android, because otherwise I could have videotaped him, so, you know, FaceTimed him. So I took a picture of everything and I showed him, he said, okay, you need to go and you need to get blah, 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 blah. So I go and I get the holes, I go and get the, um, a, whatever that thing was for the vent, this, that, and the other, and I spent $52, $52 that I didn't have. So... Um, this girl is helping me. She told me, so I'm back on the phone with him saying, I'm making sure I'm getting the right thing, you know, this and that. So he's like, I'm going to come over there and we're going to see what we can do. But now, mind you, I had also paid for installation too. So I'm like, Okay, I just want to make sure I'm getting the right thing. So me and him was kind of like getting into it because he was like, "Why? No, you don't need that. No, you don't need that." Because I'm taking pictures, you know. Or he said, "Sherelle, I told you this is what you need." So 
he was out working on a job, so I was kind of disturbing him. So I understood his annoyance with me. I just ended up having a meltdown right there in Lowe's. I had had a meltdown earlier. I don't know what's going on with me, why I am so emotional. It, it, somebody said on my live on Facebook, it's just an emotional time. And it really, really is. It's like I cannot seem to adjust or to get my mind and my body together for this new thing that has happened in my life. I'm just, I feel like I'm just all over the place. And I want to say this. Oh, I can't stand that bump. I want to say this. I am super, super, super excited about the bump. Oh, I am super, super, super excited about this house. Super excited. Super excited. But at the same time of being super excited about my about the house, it's so much little shit that has gone wrong. You know, and my girlfriend who just bought a house, she coming up to a year. She was like, I told you. She was like, I told you. She said, you're going to be crying a lot. She was telling me how her door, she had to go buy a whole new door for her basement. The door went closed. And then something else happened. And then something, she said, I'm telling you. She said, I'm telling you. She said, you're going to cry some more. She says, so just get ready. She says, it's going to take you about a year, a little bit over a year, to just feel like yourself. And I do believe that this is why I got sick. I think it's a combination. My hair was still wet. I went in this cold room to have a mammogram. And then stress will make you sick too. And she was saying to me, you think you're still not under stress with, you know, <clears throat> the move and the closing and all that. She said, you think you're not stressed. She said, but you still stressed out. So anyway, um, so, um, I just, I just had a meltdown. I had a, I had a serious meltdown in Lowe's and on live on Facebook. And I wasn't planning to cry. You don't need them. Then I, well, let me just go back to the washer and dryer. So, so my friend said, I'm going to come over. So now, mind you, I had to go to the laundromat yesterday. More, yesterday. So I go to the laundromat, and these two black women got into an argument over the dryer. I'll tell y'all about that in a minute. <coughs> so I'm calling my friend. I'm texting him. He ain't calling me back. He ain't texting. He ain't saying nothing. So now I'm pissed at him. So I called another friend who's a plumber. And he said he would come look at it. But he was on the job. So um, he was like, just give me about an hour or so and I'll call you back. Well, in the meantime, my other friend calls back and say, where is your worsening ass at? He always says my middle name is uh, worse. I said, I just pulled up in front of my house. And he was like, did you go to the laundry man? I said, yeah, I'm done. That's why I'm, I'm back. And I said, I just dropped Chris off at my mom's house and I was coming home. And he was like, well, I'm, I'm not too far from you. I'm like 10 minutes away. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling around the corner. So now I got to so the other friend called, he on his way too. So I called him back and I said, Mark, don't come because my other friend is coming. But if, if I need you for something else more additional than what he say, I'm going to call you back. He's like, okay. He's like, let me know. I said, all right. He said, because I'm going to be blah, 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 blah. I said, okay. Because I won't be fine. <laughs> I said, okay. So... He comes, my friend comes, and he goes down in the back, go in the laundry room, and he looks at the when the, the wash dryer over. He said, you know what? He said, I be just goddamn. He said, you need a stackable. And I'm like, a stackable? He said, yes, this is what they had. He said, because the vent thing is right here. He said, look through there. He said, you see how that's going outside? 
you know, when you when you washing the drying, he said, you know, you dry, you see the 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 um, the smoke. He's like, you're not gonna be able to get a washer and a dryer separately in a stack of them. I said, why did they tell me that I was gonna need that? I said, clearly. <coughs> <clears throat> if you looking at it why did they know that because the configuration of the laundry room you got you walk in the laundry room and you got the hot water tank and then you got the sink you got the sink you got the And then over here, where the thing is hanging, that's where it would go. And so that means I would have to unscrew that sink and put it the other way. He was like, no. He was like, you need a sink right here. You have a stack of to go right here. He said, you got a washer and dryer. He's like, and that's it. <clears throat> I was like, wow. He was like, yeah. He's like, we need a stack of them. He said, that's what they had. He said, I could not remember what your laundry room looked like. He said, that's why I wasn't able. But he was telling me, he said, I couldn't think. I wasn't, you know, I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Bending down to get my clothes out to dry. 
So with this stackable, the dryer is on top. So you open it, put the clothes in, you know, get the clothes out. So she said, you could um, do it online, order it, or you can come back to the store. I'm probably going to go back to the store. I don't think I'm going to do it uh, online. Um, I just probably won't. So, lo and behold, stackable. That's what I'm going to get. That, that's what I'm going to end up getting. And my friend was like, don't pay for no installation. I'll hook it up. When I tell you, it is the motherfucking M bomb. So, my other friend, Mark, he calls me back. He was, I called him back and I told him what happened and told him that how I was going to refrigerate. So he said, let me come over there and look. I think he just want to come over there and see my house. So he came over. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. He was like, but it wouldn't be hard to do this. Because he's a, he's a, uh, he's a uh, certified plumber. He was like, we can do this, this, this. And I said, Mark, no. Because Mark is kind of high. Kind of high. Kind of pricey. I said, I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to get a stackable. And I'm going to be done with this shit. All I want, all I want is to wash my clothes, Christopher clothes, my towels, my sheets, and put them in the dryer. That's all I want. It's just me and Christopher. It ain't like I got five kids. It ain't like I um, got another person there. It's just the two of us. Just the two of us. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need nothing. You know, real, real fancy. None of that. I just want some. I just want to wash. I just want to wash. I just want to wash. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a stackable. So they're supposed to be coming tomorrow to pick that washer and dryer back up for me. And I'm kind of glad that I left it in the in the garage because first. Mark and my friend and my other girlfriend was like, why they leave it in the uh, garage? They should have took it in the house. But now I'm kind of glad that they didn't. Now they don't have to come back in my house to get it. They can just go to my garage and get it. It's sitting right there. <sighs> so I'm like, if it ain't one goddamn thing, it's two or three. <laughs> so I'm going to get a stack of didn't want that, but a washer is a washer and a dryer is a dryer, and I just need it to do what it do. I need it, so I would love to have something real, real fancy. But that that laundry room is tight, and it, it would be it would be really tight trying to come in it and get out of it and get the clothes, and and I don't know why I didn't think of a stack, and I went and looked at one. When I went to get this washer and dryer, you know, and I, I went over there, I was playing with it and everything. And that's what, that's what, that's where I should have followed my first man and got that and been done. And I could have washed and I wouldn't have went through all of this. So, that's a whole, the whole dilemma with, <coughs> with this washer and dryer. A mess. A mess. Um, I'm hungry, but I'm not really that hungry. Um, it, it was just, it was just, I had a lot going on. It's just a lot. I was just running. I'm so sorry that I'm picking at my nose. It's like I want to blow my nose, but I can't blow my nose. I'm still coughing. I got no sleep last night. None. I am so tired. Um, My friend, friend, we kind of made up. We kind of, we kind of came to kind of like some kind of. 
understand well I would say understanding kind of had we had a conversation on Friday and um, it, 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 it started out bad but it turned out okay but I don't know I don't know where that's my point but I don't know I'm going to say this I miss him I miss him a lot um, I know he's not ready for what I'm ready for and I'm going to leave that alone. But, I don't know. So, who knows? Do I want to park there? Do I want to park down here? I think I'm going to park down here. Oh, we'll see. We don't know. Yeah, I want me a new car. I just can't afford to get a new car. I can't afford to do a car note and a house note and bills. I really want a new car. I need to get one. <coughs> Not now. Let's wait. I know I'm going to buy me another new car before I retire. That's going to be my last car. I feel like I'm going too far. So, the other thing is that um, these two ladies got into it in the laundromat. And... I was like, hurry up, Jesus. <coughs> I need to wash that dry. <coughs> it was a mess. But I'm telling y'all about that another day. <coughs> I got to get off of here. Because I just keep coughing and my head hurt. And the more I talk, the more I talk, the more pain I feel. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't remember to talk about the laundromat, the two ladies in the laundromat situation. Remind me, write in the comment, tell us a story about the two ladies who got into it at the laundromat over a dryer. Remind me, okay? So you all, I had a good, I, ha I didn't have a good weekend. I was running Saturday and Sunday between Lowe's, laundromat. You know, I was just running. And still dealing with this freaking cold. <sighs> I'm just wore out. I am wore out. I'm wore out. I just want to lay down. I just want to lay down. Chris stayed home from school. He's going to stay home. He's not feeling good. He got a sore throat. Um. So... Pray for him that he feel better. <sighs> Just, it's a lot going on. We got to get it together. Got to get it together. So y'all have a good day. I'll be back tomorrow on Tuesday to talk to you all. And I'll tell y'all about the laundry room situation. But I'm glad that I'm going to get my washing dryer. And I hope that I, they deliver it Saturday. <clears throat> I was hoping to get my couch and TV from my girlfriend Saturday. But this has delayed the process. <sighs> but anyway, work it out. We're going to work it out. So... Um, yeah. So y'all have a good day, and I will be back on here tomorrow. And I feel like my face is huge, like I have gained so much weight, like I'm swollen. 
I don't know. But y'all have a good day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay? All right. Bye. <laughs>